A new policy from the Department of Homeland Security has some local lawyers concerned that what they're doing to help their clients in another country may be illegal. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela live in the newsroom to explain. These borderline attorneys have to travel back and forth between El Paso and Juarez to see their clients, but they're afraid that they may be going against the law in Mexico since they're licensed here in the U.S. And I'll be honest, I think there's concerns on our end as well if what we're even doing in Mexico is legal. Um, obviously, they have their own laws about who can practice law down there, and so there's questions even surrounding that, like are we engaged in the unauthorized practice of law because we're U.S. lawyers, we're not Mexican lawyers. For the past couple of weeks, local immigration attorneys like Imelda Maynard say they've come across issues with the migrant protection protocol policy. I think right now there's just so much uncertainty on all levels even on the government side. I don't think they have clear direction on how they're supposed to implement this program. The Borderline Immigration Council says they want to see an end to the new Remain in Mexico program. This means families or individuals seeking asylum in the U.S. are being returned to Mexico as they go through their immigration proceedings. Some attorneys say their clients go through human rights violations and face major obstacles as they wait on the other side of the border. We've heard stories of them saying, you know, even while uh, one of my clients was kidnapped, you know, you all come to steal our jobs was one of the statements that was made, you know, while he was held captive. Um, another story, you know, saying, if I ever seen you cross here again, I'm going to kill you. These attorneys say they're estimating each asylum seeker will be subject to three or four appearances in court before their final hearing. However, tracking their clients between each hearing appears to be the problem. There's this huge hurdle. They're in another country. And so that, that it's really difficult. It's really difficult because every time they return to Mexico, um, they might have a different direction. They may have a different address. Um, and so that's, that's, that's kind of what we're looking at. And so we want to see the end of the program. And the council says they're currently working on four families' cases and were given about a month from the first hearing to find counsel. The second hearing is expected to happen on May 10th. Live in the newsroom, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News.